Okay, today we're going to break down the dollar Japanese yen. At the moment, the yen is trading at, at 147.825 yens per dollar. So what do we have here? We can clearly see that we started the month pushing higher, taking out the previous key level, giving us a pattern of break to the upside and then reject the reverse candle by the following candle closure crossing below the key level. These two candles are combined together, creating one candle, which indicates that this candle closed below prices. So whenever that happens, the idea for the market is to push to the downside. How far did it push? Push all the way to fill up this gap here. Not even close. But after that, we clearly see we can have a break about the key level again which indicating that, hold on. Indicating that the, the bulls have taken control of the market. Now, since we know that the market may continue to the upside to a target at 148.800, we need to identify if H4 timeframes also also validate that idea. And when you think about it, the market has created a new high, creating a new higher low, attempting to create a new high. So this is where we at, and this is what we're expecting for the market to act and give us an idea of what it may do. Now, now from here, we have two options, right? We have the option to see how high is going to go before a pullback uh, to that 200 uh, mark my negative 27 there so there's two options here the first one is for the market to come all the way to this level start pulling back retest the uh quantum mine level and continue to our target which is indeed we will be creating the bullish structure that we are in. Another option that may happen is that the market may break and break back in, targeting either a double bottom or potentially an M formation before continuing to the upside. Those are the two options that I have. Right now, we can see that the last candle closure was, was bullish. And it did not tap our key level, which indicates that it still has a possibility to come and retest this level and reject it. We also understand that we have a gap to fill here. And I want to see how the market reacts at these levels. I want to see if in reality, the market is going to reject here, fulfill this, continue to the upside too. So in the meantime, there's nothing much that we can do, but just wait for the UTC Japanese Yen to see what's going to happen at the opening of the market or at the following day. So the best way to put a trade is to wait. So that's what I have for Japanese UTC Japanese Yen. And I am Daniel, the analyst. And I am the best at what I do. Ciao for now.